Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore Forever with SRJ26. And in today's installment, we are going to go to the nether and work on cutting a, some sort of a uh, pathway out of the base. I've done a little bit of work on it. As you can see, I've got, what, 16 stone brick in my inventory. I've been working on trying to make it a little more homey. Unfortunately, ghasts can still fly up there, see me, and shoot, which is why I'm missing a window right now. <laughs> but that's okay. Who needs safety, right? I also have a new housemate. I call him Grog. Grog Skullface the Merciless. He's not much much company, really. Hey, Grog. How you doing? Uh, yeah, so we're going to try to dig, dig, dig and see where we get. Um, I think right now the best plan is just to, I don't know, should I go straight or should I go down? That's the big question. Um, well, there is lava down there, but I think I want to go down, because if I'm down, then I can't fall horribly and die. Whereas if I, well, I can, but hopefully I won't. So we're going to um, go down, but go down carefully in the interest of not well, falling down and dying. Um, so at some point, I fully expect that I will break through. Aha. Uh -huh. As I said, falling down and dying. All right, um, so this is a non-starter here. Uh, this is not going to work. So we're going to go straight, at least for a while. Because um, I don't want to fall down there. It doesn't look like fun to me. Um, so, now the big question is, will I be able to safely go straight? And I don't know the answer to that, um, but we can find out easily enough. We're going to just put down torches and creep. You hold down shift to creep if you don't know that already. It's kind of invaluable in this wonderful place where you fall and die. Um, and I am recording, so if I fall and die, uh, you will get to, I don't know, laugh at me or something. Uh, for those of you, if anyone is new to this, uh, I actually was working on uh, the series and I died without recording, which was poor. Actually, no, I was, I, I stepped into a plunge, started falling, hit escape. And while that kept me from dying, I was part way down a fall and it was inevitable. As soon as I went back in, I was going to die, uh, which was kind of sad. <laughs> All right, let's go down now and let's see. Hello. Okay, that's not so good. Although it's not so bad. Um, All right, let's pop that back in place there. And hello. Now this is very dangerous, and the reason this is very dangerous is that um, if I got hit by a fireball up here, I'd be pretty well screwed. Oh, but look at that. I know what we're going to do. All right, we are going to go and get some glowy stone because I love glowstone. Um, so we're going to be very careful. And I will show you my method uh, for getting glowstone. It's not that. All right. My method is to come in above it, and it becomes this weird sort of t tight wire, uh, high wire act. But it works. So let's just hit a low. We got another hole. All right. And that's actually okay. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get over on top of that glowstone. Now you can make. Um, you can make towers that go up to glowstone. All right, now here I can't put any more things down. I'm not going to jump it. So we're actually going to go up another level. And it's because that's just the sane way to do it. Um, obviously, in hardcore, if I die, I don't come back. So I really don't want to die. Um, but just in general, you know, you want to be sensible about these things. Okay. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? All right. 
I gotta get back far enough, and that is that is not pretty. That is dangerous. So we will. There we go. Okay. Now the good news is that I can get down here. The bad news is that it is very precarious. So I'm going to clear out a space above this here. And now what I try to... Whoa! Hello! Alright. Um, yeah, what I try to do is I try to get the goods without exposing myself, which um, that sounds personal. Uh, yeah, not, not exposing myself that way. Uh, I try to get the goods without exposing myself to uh, being seen by a ghast. Because if, if I get seen by a ghast, then a ghast will shoot fireballs. If a ghast shoots fireballs, it can end. Uh, everything will end very quickly. Um, so I'm trying to sort of get around the glowstone up here. And this, this might be a little time consuming. I apologize if it gets boring, but uh, I also want to make sure to be very careful. All right. So I can't do that one there. I can do that one. That's good. Okay. So I haven't even gotten any glowstone yet. And the reason in part is that I'm being super careful. What I want to do is I want to try to isolate pieces that I can then break and not lose the glowstone. And of course, one missed step can be fatal. So we're going to... There we go. And let's see if we can get some... There we go, I like that. All right, so what I'm doing here is, uh, this is probably really boring. Let me start breaking some stuff, because, you know, it's always more fun when you break stuff. And I'm just going to go over here. There we go. And I can actually break stuff with, um, with the nether rack perfectly safely. There we go. So this this may seem weird, but I'm doing this very you know intentionally to try to not expose myself to any gas fire. And I am going to lose. Whoa! I'm going to lose blocks. Oops. All right. Now my finger is on the shift key at all times right now because that is basically the only thing keeping me from not, um, you know, falling. Uh, shift key is your friend when you're doing crazy stuff like this. All right, let's get back over here and let's get some more of the goods. All right, a lot of it's falling, unfortunately. That's not good, but what can you do? I'm not jumping after it. And I am going to close up. Oh, there's some over there, too. Check that out. I must have gone right by it. I was... In there. Okay, and... Let's see how much we got at this point. 46. That's pretty good. Let's uh, get a little bit more, because I'm greedy if I'm going to do this effort go to this these lengths then I might as well oh good oh goody and I'm actually leaving some of the material in the ceiling not because I want to but just because it's too hard to get everything um, so that's good so yeah, this is my wacky method of getting uh, getting this stuff. Let me get that one. Oh, I got a couple there. And I think 
Oh, goodness, yeah, do I want those? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. All right, so yeah, this is how it works. Um, now, the other option is, of course, to go up on a pillar, and lots of people do that, but it's a really, really good way to get killed because um, the gas can shoot you off of it with uh, great ease. So... All right. Excellent. So now, I guess I'm going to keep on going because, let me see, I want to try to explore through this area, and the best way to do that is to actually keep going. So we will... But how high do I want to be? High as a kite. Let's see. So I went down, down, and now I'm going straight back. Good. Let's see what we got. We got 64 and 9. That's not divisible by 4, but it's pretty good. I'm just going to stand in the hallway here. And what we do is we go boom, boom, and now we have 16 glowstone blocks, which is not a lot, but it's it's something. It's a start. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I'll do something cool. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be my plan. I'm going to sort of try to do corridors up here until I get to a spot where I can dig downwards. Hello! That's a guest. Um, I got a feeling that I may eventually need to get rid of... God, they're weird looking. Um... I may need to get rid of my windows because I think they may be a problem. They might get broken too often when I do dumb stuff like stick my head out and try to shoot him. I actually like shooting guests. It's kind of fun. But I don't think I have enough arrows to warrant wasting them. All right. Uh, let's go back to the base. And uh, I guess I'm going to keep on trying to do that and dig corridors either through or down. Uh, down when I can, straight through when I can't go down. And the goal is to find Stronghold. So I will endeavor to do it on camera when I can, but it may be a long time before I really uh, get one. As you can see, I'm already almost 13 minutes in, and I didn't get very far at all. Although, actually, I got distracted and screwed around with glowstone. Which is fun. I have no regrets. <laughs> All right. Um, and I showed you the way that I go about trying to get that stuff out. Um, but I still don't have blaze rod, so I still can't make a brewing stand. So uh, over there where the enchanting table is, there's work to be done. All right. So thank you for watching. And next time, hopefully, I will have made some progress in the nether. We'll be a little bit closer to maybe having a base and I'm sorry, not a base. We'll be closer to finding the stronghold, and we'll get those next steps done. In the, remember, the ultimate goal, and just having fun, is to beat the previous score. So uh, we're going to try to do that. Thanks for watching, and see you next.